just to lay out uh, what we're looking to today. So uh, we put together a full comprehensive study um, uh, about uh, running through digital transformation, uh, what that means, uh, going through various case studies, um, and we could go, we're going to dive deeper into that and uh, very much look forward to uh, discussion uh, after our presentation. So please um, feel free to chime in at the end with questions and comments. Um, then uh, through this study, we, we talk about the common pressures that businesses face um, and from uh, our study, the different results that we see across different verticals, um, what the shape of uh, digital transformation is and is becoming, um, <clears throat> the where we see the technology usage um, and the challenges that uh, uh, on the road to digital transformation internally, um, externally, um, how to make your uh, journey successful, um, getting all participants on board and signing off. Um, and really, at the end, what, what is the maturity here? How, how are we measuring this? Um, and, and what does this really all mean for your organization? Hi guys, uh, so today we'll talk about uh, the agenda that Jeff discussed. Uh, and uh, I would like to point out a uh, basic uh, concern we had. Uh, so we work with the global clients uh, across US and India and Europe. And uh, when we were working with them, uh, the trigger was that uh, how to uh, let them understand what does it mean by digital transformation? Uh, because generally, uh, people take companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google uh, as a, like a example, like they are transforming and they are leading the technology innovation. And and so it's like we thought, how can we uh, get to know uh, these status of companies who are uh, big enough, uh, maybe having a revenue of more than $300 million? Can we talk to them and see uh, um, what is the stage of transformation they have? What do they mean by digital transformation and what are the challenges they are facing and so that we can actually prepare ourselves to uh, help our clients and, and more people um, by that and we can innovate ourselves. And that was the motivation. So at the end of the presentation, you will see the, uh, the tool that we have developed. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know, uh, we, we the guys thought about that. So um, I was done uh, with MIT Center of Digital Excellence. I was spoke to digital and ROW Consulting India. So, uh, and uh, we managed to uh, reach out to uh, 50 companies uh, with a revenue of $300 million. And executives we interviewed were 107. And if you can see here, like 54% people uh, who were uh, including the study from Europe, 30% from US, and 16% from Asia. And these companies, uh, were in different uh, domains, so retail, energy, financial services, government, manufacturing, telecom, transport, and uh, and we just managed to talk to them. Uh, let's see that how digital technology is changing the business of these leading firms. I hope I will be able to understand that in further slides. See uh, that. Uh, that this slide really talks about uh, the um, the state of mind of of the uh, companies. That uh, what are the uh, I would say forces? Uh, what are the forces that are that are um, either uh, motivating them or or it's like transforming them to take action? So if you see, there are three uh, forces. One is customer, another is competitor, and and the employees. So we can say internal factors versus external factors uh, that are responsible for the uh, uh, these, um, I would say, uh, transformation initiatives. So customers, uh, like 70% of the executives, uh, uh, they say that the competitive pressures, uh, competition is the, 70% uh, say that, yeah, customers are the uh, reason for them uh, to transform because these guys are moving to the uh, new technologies and new, uh, new, new uh, platforms and new, new kind of I would say uh, the methods of acting with your company. So they had this pressure to change because of customers are changing. 72% of the uh, executives uh, reason as competitive pressure, like because they're innovating, uh, we can't uh, be uh, left behind. So they were the people who 
wanted to compete with them, wanted to become a leader. So that was the reason for them to transform. 32% of the people said that uh, yeah, employees uh, are the reason um, because of which uh, they are going to transform. Because what happens like you see companies, uh, uh, it's like um, maybe sometimes like uh, one guy is coming with the iPad and, and maybe talking to the other employees are using technology, but some companies don't allow the external um, uh, devices. So, uh, so these employees talk to the uh, seniors like, why can't we be having facility like uh, social interaction with the uh, maybe uh, with the company employees and our our colleagues? Why can't we have some devices where we can interact with with the senior people in the company? So these were the reasons um, when companies felt that yeah, because the, the changes happening externally, and so they can't stop this internal transformation. And that's how these guys are motivated to do a transformation inside. And I will help you with some case studies uh, that uh, that some clients, how did they uh, do that? <clears throat> so looking at this in a, in a real world example, um, Neurogum, which is um, a, a very new um, product and also in an, an, a new vertical. Um, so this was a big challenge. Neurogum sits in the energy caffeine nootropics space. Um, and you, you could think about that as, um, you know, something that you'd purchase um, at a uh, gas station drugstore um, where there's like the high energy, five, five hour energy. But um, this being uh, gum and, um, so what we did here, utilizing our platform, is we looked at all historic um, and where are they receiving their website traffic. And based on those uh, results, we were able to then come to a brand new company, a roadmap. So we looked at historical uh, data, um, hypothesis of how we're going to have success with Neurogum. Um, and you know, very difficult to launch a brand um, from nothing. Uh, so uh, launching in a, a completely new space, uh, the ener energy drink, energy space, not brand new, but for a gum, uh, th this was new. So what they were able to do internally, um, that this is a startup and they're, and they're getting going and uh, they have all the other challenges that they needed to um, transform their company. Uh, we came in and took the reins, um, and what we were able to do for them <clears throat> in really less than three months um, through our is, you know, conversion rate <clears throat> by over 80%. Um, we, we turned everything upside down. You know, if they were spending one dollar to make, uh, I'm sorry, if they were spending five dollars to make uh, one dollar, uh, we were able to spend one dollar to make five dollars and really streamline uh, their transformation from going to launch to then now going out and uh, getting customers. Uh, so this is really um, our, our pilot client that uh, we're going around and uh, doing engagements with um, and uh, just an amazing uh, brand that we've been able to help out in. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so, so this example was a great example where we uh, took a company who was uh, uh, new in the market and they want to transform themselves and utilize these channels and and the expertise in digital. And uh, we guys did a, a great job, and and I think uh, like I think multi million dollar company now in sales. Uh, so second uh, example here you guys see is uh, Wild Wash. So Wild Wash is the uh, largest uh, e-retailer uh, for the pet commerce in UK and across Europe. And they have presence across the world. 